Carl Hayes asking questions right now. Get in, uh, hit the like button, share. Let's let's get this video with some momentum. Uh, <clears throat> oh, Aline says, "Hey, coach, I sent my vision board to your email. Hope all is well. Thanks for the views. Can you talk about how to deal with the friend who takes out their anger from stress on you? For example, they have a lot on their plate." that they are being a steward over this year. But instead of talking about it or taking some some alone time, they tend to have a bad attitude and are short-tempered. That's what having unnecessary stuff on your plate does. It makes you uh, become out of your personality. It makes you uh, emboldened um, with unnecessary emotions and stress. So what I would tell you, Aline, in regards to your friend, is this might be the opportunity for you to distance in presence, but not don't but don't distance in yourself in prayer. This may be a time where uh, you have to distance yourself in proximity, but stay in connected by prayer because what you should never be is somebody else's punching bag based upon the pressures that they put on their own life. Never be a punching bag to a person who is is putting on themselves unnecessary pressure. What you do is you distance yourself in, pr in, in presence. Don't get so caught up in the nostalgia of your friendship. Don't get so caught up on the history of your friendship. You got to be able to understand that no friend should come before your self-care. No care for a friend should come before your self-care. When caring for a person affects your self-care, you need to care less. Not care less completely, but you got to start lessen lessening your care for them so that you can be caring for yourself. Because the more you stay in the gap, you start getting hit for no reasons and you don't deserve that. So right now, <clears throat> she's not operating friendly and uh, people who are not friendly are not fit to be friends. They may be a friend again, but they not may, they may not be the friend within, friend right now. And that's OK. So what you do is you distance yourself in proximity but you stay close by prayer. Don't cut the rope, especially if it's a friend that God has given you. Don't cut the rope. Like I said in previous videos, just lifting the rope. Lifting the rope means if I feel the tug, I'm far enough not to be dragged off the cliff that you're on. But I feel enough tug for you not to completely fall off. But I'm far enough from the cliff so I don't fall off. But I'm, but, I'm, but I'm close enough to draw you out of the ditch, to draw you out if you need me. So what that means is uh, remove yourself in proximity. Stay close in prayer. And this is how you pray for a person. Heavenly Father, I pray that they come into revelation on why they are what they, where they are. I pray, Father, Father God, that you will give them the right amount of goodness that will draw them to repentance, that will put them in the right place they need to be so that they can relinquish and release the unnecessary things in their life so they can walk and, and rest. That's how you do that. And because, because if you don't, you're going to try to be in the fight with them and you find yourself getting hit by a stray fist. Hey, coach. Oh, you said, OK. Can you talk about how to deal with a friend who takes out the anger from or from stress on you? Uh, for example, they have a lot on their plate, but they are being a steward over this year that they are being a steward over this year. But instead of taking talk, talking about it or taking some alone time, they tend to have a bad attitude. Listen. <clears throat> Don't let nobody else's bad attitude cause you to fall in bad altitude. No, 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 no. Don't allow nobody's attitude to defect your altitude. If you feel yourself feeling low, feeling stressed, feeling burdened, that means that person's attitude is affecting your altitude. You're supposed to go higher, not lower. <clears throat> so what I would advise you to do <clears throat> is, just, is just to distance yourself. You don't have... It, you don't necessarily have to have a community conversation. When she recognized the distance and she start asking why you're so distant, that's when you communicate why you distance yourself. But let her know that this whole time that you felt the distance, I've been close in prayer for you and I'm praying for you. But I've been feeling that lately your stress has affected my rest and it's keeping me from being my best. And that's all you got to do. Let's keep going.